everybody. Welcome back to Chin Fat. In this episode, well, last episode, I, w I covered uh, basic media organization with inside of Premiere Pro. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, rename your files in Premiere Pro. First of all, I would recommend going back and watching uh, my short three-part series on how to organize media on your hard drives before you import them into Premiere. Because a lot of the times what, I, a lot of, what people do is they will change the name of their footage before they import it into Premiere Pro, which usually doesn't do anything bad on a smaller project when you get into larger projects. So that is not the way to go. So if you go to YouTube and you go to my channel, search Chin Fat, go to my channel here, go to playlists. I'm going to playlist. I have this data management for film and video series. It's a short series. It's a three part series covers transferring media on hard drives. And then, it, and then the second part covers how to organize media, organizing media and backing up. And then the third one is, is organizing media and naming conventions. Uh, and that's mostly dealing with putting uh, things on hard drives when you're transferring. Uh, but then when you import them, you can rename the files. I, once again, I really put a lot of emphasis on do not change the names of your files, of the actual movie files, on your hard drive. Do that in Premiere Pro. Like I said, there's some types of media like red media. If you do that, you're really you're just going to screw up your media, and there's really no going back on that. If you didn't back up your footage from your red, then that footage is basically gone because the names and the footage and the metadata are really important to how red footage operates. So once you've organized footage, Let's say I want to go into these folders and start renaming files. So I'm going to go into the red footage here first. Red footage, and it's got this naming convention for the original red footage here. I'm going to show you a couple different ways of renaming it. With, with this on a normal movie shoot, these clips would be renamed based on the shot that the shot number that it was given when it was being shot. And you can usually find that uh, at the beginning of the clips, there'll be a slate right there. And the naming on this would be named after the scene number and the take number. So this shot name is scene number four, and this is take one. So all you have to do basically is select the clip that you're going to be renaming, and you hit the return key. When you hit the return key, it highlights a blue asking what you want to rename it. I see a lot of people do this. They don't, you don't have to do this. They'll click right here at the end and then they'll go delete and take 20 minutes like that hitting delete to go back and delete the name and then they will name it. Don't do that. You don't have to do it. Uh, when you select a clip, you hit return. It highlights the whole thing when you start typing and eliminates the whole name. So this is going to be scene, I'm going to abbreviate it here, scene four space T1. So that's the name of the clip right there. So now it has renamed this footage here to scene four, take one. One thing to keep in mind is that this is not altering the original footage. It does not touch the original footage. All it does is read it and it, and it assigns a name inside of Premiere. It does not rename the actual footage. If you right click on this and you say reveal in Finder on a, on a PC, this will say reveal in Explorer. So reveal in Finder, it'll bring it open on your computer and it will show the original media. And notice that the original media has maintained its same name. It hasn't changed it and it's not different. This is basically reading it. And Premiere remembers the, the source name as well. This will be really important, if you're especially if you're round tripping between uh, different pieces of software, like from Premiere to Resolve. It will remember the source name when you go to the new software like DaVinci Resolve and it will be able to relink everything in your edit. So this next clip here, uh, it doesn't have a slate at the very beginning. I have to kind of skim into it. You can use your little mini player here to do it right there. There's the name. And but by the way, I, I've got these in icon view. I like this in icon view. So especially if you're looking at, you need to see the slate, you need this in icon view, not list view but icon view. And there's the name of the clip right there, 4alpha take 1, 4a take 1. So I just select that. So with this clip selected, I hit the return or our big enter key, and we're going to say scene 4a take 1. Now if you have take 2, see this is the exact same name over here, 4alpha take, but it's got a take 2. So what I could do is while I'm here in this uh, window right here, I could hit command A or control A on a PC, and that will select the whole name. I can do command C to copy, and then I can hit enter to, uh, to select that clip. There we can go to this next clip here, hit return, and I can paste this, Command V or Control V, and then I can arrow back and say Take 2, because it's the same name, but now that's got the same uh, name that's on the clip, Scene uh, 4A, Take 1. All right, so if you're not naming them after the, the slate numbers, if you go to like dro drone footage here, you can name them after uh, names, basically, here. Let's go to my highlighting here. I'm going to double click on this. And if there's specific things that happen in these clips here, I can rename them based on what's happening in the clip. So this shot here is a 360-degree... Uh, view of somebody laying on a couch right there. So I can go down here and say hero shot couch, whatever you want to name it. And here they are setting up a high line, so I can select this, hit enter, and uh, call this setting up high line. 
If there's more than one shot, you might may want to number these. You can name it like maybe set, setting up high line. Uh, we can call this one, number one. And now I can hit Command A to select the whole thing, Command C to copy or Control C. And let's say this one is also setting up. You can hit return and I can do Command V or Control V to paste. And now I can arrow back and n number that as two. So I would continue to go through each one of these folders and renaming them. Like I said, for this, this is typical kind of uh, way of renaming something that, that, that's being shot as a film, uh, whereas this is, my, this is documentary and, and you might have a naming, different naming convention here. So I'm going to go into project timelines. The last thing I'm going to show is once you've named those things, you have your little search engine here. You can click in here and now you can easily find the footage based on uh, the name that you gave them here. So if we go, if I type in setting up, just type in setting and it brought all the, it opened up the folders and showed me the ones of all, all the clips that have the word setting in it. So you can clear that out. Just make sure you clear that when you're done. And if I was looking for scene four, it will bring up all the ones that were named scene four. So pretty simple, a uh, couple of little concepts there just for renaming footage. Once again, don't rename your footage uh, that you put on your hard drive, import it into Premiere and do the renaming inside of the software instead. And I highly recommend that when you do import your footage, you go through and rename everything. They'll make things so much easier when you're editing. If you have this organizational process going on here, it'll make make your editing so much better. It's a little bit of work. It's going to be a little bit of work in the beginning, but it will pay off uh, later on. It'll be a lot more work if you have not been renaming your footage because now you can search footage, look for it, find it, edit it, and so on. Well, cool. That's it for this episode. Next one, I'll be showing you how to create timelines. So if you have any questions, please let me know.